Hello, how is everyone doing? It is your fallen angel back with another video. Today, we are going over who can study the Kabbalah. Now, we're continuing this series on Kabbalah, but before we get started, feel free to check us out on Patreon, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, things of that nature. Also, like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's just jump right in. So, let's just clear up the rumors in regards to who is allowed to learn the Kabbalah. Whenever Kabbalah is discussed, statements are tossed about such as, one can go mad studying Kabbalah. It is safe to study Kabbalah only after the age of 40. A man must be married and have at least three children before embarking on the study. Women are forbidden to study Kabbalah, etc. Now guys, these are just rumors. Now anyone, and anyone in this cosmos who wants to learn, can learn this, right? Ari, the teacher of the one of the greatest Kabbalists, Ari, he learned at a very young age, a very, very young age, and he was even teaching at a young age. So this, this whole ideology of Kabbalah can be studied by anyone that wants to learn the true purpose of why they are in this cosmos. Kabbalah is open to all. It is for those who truly wish to correct themselves in order to attain spirituality. The need comes from the soul's urge to correct itself. That is actually the only test to determine whether a person is ready to study Kabbalah. The desire to correct oneself. This desire must be genuine and free of outside pressure, since only oneself can discover one's true desire. This also ties into reincarnation, guys. We have to understand, the Buddha was incarnated many, many times until he finally understood his purpose. This goes for everybody. Now, while you may not be the Buddha, you are your own person, you are your own entity, with your own individual nuance. Therefore, it is essential to find out what it is you have to correct in this lifetime, and what it is you have to come to terms with. You have to really understand what your true desire is. The great Kabbalist, the Ari, wrote that from his generation onwards, Kabbalah was intended for men, women, and children and that all could, sh could and should study Kabbalah. The greatest Kabbalist in our generation, Yehuda Ashlag, Baal HaSulam, left a new study method for this generation. It is suitable for anyone wishing to embark on the study of Kabbalah. So, Yehuda Ashlag, he made a very, very well in-depth study method. This study method has is, is been taking excerpts from the previous two generations and explaining how you can get intertwined with the supernatural and understanding your true purpose on this cosmos, your purpose on this earth, your purpose in your, your own reality, the true purpose of why you are here today. A person finds his way to Kabbalah when he is no longer satisfied by material rewards and hopes studying will provide answers, clarification, and new opportunities. He no longer finds solutions in the world to the significant questions concerning his existence. More often than not, the hope of finding answers is not even cognitive. He simply takes an interest and finds it necessary. So guys, when you get to the... Co the reason why in many, many generations that this was taught by word of mouth or that the books were burned, the texts were burned, it's because you have to come to an agreement with yourself. You have to come to an agreement with your soul that you want to embark on this journey. That it's not just some information readily available. It's something that you have to truly want. You have to truly want to pass your physical desires, your physical lust, your physical need for survival and hunger. You need to pass the physical taste, the physical hunger, and understand that there's something bigger in the material, in the astral plane, in the it's bigger in the in the cosmos. It's it's bigger than what we see in the material plane, in the physical plane. Such a person has questions. Who am I? Why was I born? Where do I come from? Where am I going? Why do I exist in the world? Was I already here? Will I reappear? Why is there so much suffering in the world? Can it somehow be avoided? How can I attain pleasure, completeness, peace of mind? Unconsciously, he feels the answers to these questions can be found only beyond of this world. So that entire thing that we just said explains how the answers do not lie in the physical plane the physical plane is just the understanding and a visualization that we are going to see through light apparatus but what we must understand is there's 
bigger, bigger connection to the cosmos, the astral plane, the atmic plane, the, the Buddhist plane, the ether's time space, kether time space, kether. We have to understand that there's a bigger, bigger picture in the macrocosm. The supernatural is what's connecting us to have this physical body. The question becomes, why are we in this physical body? The one answer to these questions is to know and feel the upper worlds. And the way to do so is through Kabbalah. Through its wisdom, man enters the upper worlds. With all his feelings, there are worlds that provide all of the reasons for his existence in this world. He takes control of his life, thereby attaining his goal, tranquility, pleasure, and completeness, while he is still in this world. So guys, what we have to understand is, the upper worlds, also known as the supernatural, or ether time space, this is what is providing us the reasons. The reasons as to why we are here today. It is to complete why it's to complete and find out the reason as to why we are here. It's to pass our animalistic desires and to understand our reason. It's to understand to attain spirituality. It's to it's the soul's urge to correct itself. This is why we keep getting reincarnated, because your soul wants to find out why it's here it needs to correct what is wrong or else you're going to constantly go through this loop until it never ends till you finally attain spiritual bliss or satori zen in the introduction to the study of the ten sifarit it is written if we put our hearts into answering just one famous question, I am sure all questions and doubts would disappear from the horizon, and we will find they are gone. And that tiny question is, what is the point of our lives? Now, while that may sound nihilistic, it is the truth. What is the point of why we are on this cosmos? Is it just to survive and reproduce? Well, then that would just be us maintaining our animalistic desires, right? It has to be a much bigger plane. The creator has to have a much bigger purpose for every single individual. The macrocosm and the microcosm are always intertwined within the cosmos. As we see here, we also have to get a visual of understanding how the Hindu mysticism corresponds with the Kabbalah. Because uh, both of these explain light. It's all about illuminating light and how these lights are intertwined with our physical realm. Anyone attracted to the study of Kabbalah due to this question is welcome to study Kabbalah. The one who reaches serious study feels the question and asks himself constantly, what is the point of our lives? This is what urges him to search and find answers. So you have to reach a point where physical desire no longer suits you or physical desire is no longer something that is necessarily meaningful to you. Now, while it's always necessary for you for survival and whatnot, it is it is becomes second nature it becomes something that you don't want to learn much more about you've you've eventually burnt yourself out from all of the stuff that you've done you want to know if there's a higher purpose a higher spirituality you want to know what is out in the the astral plane what is out in the mental plane what is out once we put ourselves in a trance state what is out there we want to know what is beyond the physical state People want quick cures. They want to learn about magic, meditation, and healing associated with Kabbalah. They are not truly interested in the revelation of the upper worlds or in learning the methods of reaching spiritual realms. This does not qualify as genuine desire to study Kabbalah. So, when it comes to Kabbalah, it has to be a true, true spiritual understanding. It has to be a true, true acceptance of why you are here. It has to be a true, true S submission to the ideology it has to be a full-blown i want to really really know what is beyond the human vessel it can't just be i i just want the answer just so i can continue doing what i do and maybe have an answer and then i could continue to do whatever it is on this physical plane it's a, a true understanding of the ideology of letting go whether it's letting go of the ego letting go of anything in this physical plane it's the idea of letting go and to just accept the spiritual realm as it is when the time is right when the time is right and the need is there a person will look for a framework of study and will not be satisfied until he finds one everything depends on the root of a man's soul and that 
point of his heart, a true desire within his heart to discover and feel the upper worlds will lead him to the way of the Kabbalah. So guys, when we are spiritually inclined, when our chakras are awoken, and our third eye is at its maximum, it's peeking out, and we, it's shining, shining bright like a star. This will naturally lead us to the Kabbalah. This will naturally lead us to understanding what the supernatural is. Whether this is Eastern mysticism or just learning the Kabbalah, you will f eventually stumble upon what is the supernatural. Whether this is ether, time, space, whether this is the atomic plane, the astral plane, you will uh, eventually stumble upon the similar ideology of what light is and how we are light beings and how this applies to the human soul so guys this was just a short video on explaining who can study kabbalah and the answer is anyone who really desires to understand something outside the physical body something outside the material body something outside the material understanding whoever wants to learn what is after why you're here why you are doing what you do, why you see what you see, the synchronicities in your life. This is why we study Kabbalah. Anyone can study Kabbalah that wants to. Now, guys, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, like and subscribe. Also, check us out on Patreon, Rumble, Twitter, Instagram, things of that nature. And this is your fallen angel, and I am out.